shelter in place is a concept that's become very popular in conjunction with the wildland urban interface standards for fire resistant construction that's 7a in the building code plus the mitigation for fuels uh, it's gaining um, popularity in its use especially in southern california uh, there's some projects that have utilized uh, those entities to be successful in actual fires uh, rancho santa fe is one and I, I look to Carol Rice, who's the wildland expert who put the report together and has far more experience than I do in that specific topic. Um, to go back, there's been a lot of discussions that we've had and we've field, fielded questions regarding shelter in place. It's not to say people have to shelter in place. If we look at our most recent fire, the big fire, we evacuated Montecito on Monday. Uh, if law enforcement and fire determine that we're going to evacuate, we're going to evacuate, and usually that's going to be done post haste, well in advance of fire fronts coming through. This is actually the ability for people in this environment, if we had a fire that originated on site before evacuations could be made, during our response, people have the ability to, and proven with the mitigation factors for vegetation, fire resistive construction, they can safely stay in that home based on that data. And probably benefit us in not evacuating because we have a lot of issues during an evacuation as we're trying to come in people are going out and that's not restricted by one or two access points that's restricted by a volume of people leaving an area not one subdivision that's going to be the whole west side of town leaving as we go through and mitigate or try to plan um, evacuations all of that gets taken into account in certain scenarios we might have to have the ability for people to shelter in place this neighborhood provided those mitigations is going to be built to accomplish that shelter in place model. We don't have that else in any other project here in Napa or a subdivision here in Napa. We've applied those standards to individual homes. Um, a lot of the stuff <clears throat> uh, east of Tulake has had the 7A standards applied to it. That's probably the newest subdivision that's had some of these factors built into it.